Hello everyone, once again welcome back to another session. In this session we are going to upload Cisco Nexus Titanium Switch image to GNS3. Also we will build a simple network project based on this Nexus Titanium Switch. So let's get started. Let's open GNS3 client. Wait for a moment. In server summary, we can see two server. One is the local server, another one is GNS3 VM. To upload Nexus Titanium Switch image to GNS3, click Browse All Devices. Click New Template, select Install an Appliance from the GNS3 server, click Next, click Switch section and select Cisco NXOSV. We can see Emulator QMU and Vendor Cisco. Click Install. Here we can see by default it select Install the Appliance on the GNS3 VM. Click Next, QMU Settings. Leave it default and click next. We can see application version and file. Select Annex OSV version 7.3.0. Click import. Here I will select titanium final 7.3.0.t1.1. You can Download this file from my video description. I have given the link in my video description. Now click open. We can see it's uploading. Now it's showing ready to install. Select it and click next. Here we can see would you like to install? Cisco Annex OSB version 7.3.0. Click Yes. We can see the template will be available in the multi layer switch category. The default username, password is admin, and default configuration is present. Click Finish. Click OK. We can see. Cisco Nexus Titanium Switch which we have uploaded. Now I'm gonna create a blank project. Project name gonna be Cisco Nexus Titanium Test. We're gonna have one Nexus Switch and we're gonna have two router. I'm taking Cisco 7200. This router is going to be connected with Nexus Switch. Now I'm gonna have cable to connect these two router into Nexus Titanium. Router 1, Ethernet 0, connect to Nexus Titanium, Ethernet 2 slash 1. Router 2, Ethernet 0, connect to Nexus, Ethernet 2 slash 2. We're gonna have text for IP address router 1 IP 192.168.0.1 slash 24 Nexus Titanium Ethernet 2 slash 1 IP address gonna be 192.168.0.2 slash 24 we're gonna have node for router 2 IP address that gonna be different subnet 192.168.10.1 slash 24 and Nexus Titanium Ethernet 2 slash 2 192.168.10.2 slash 24 
So let's start router one as well as Nexus Titanium and router two. I'm gonna have console for router one and now I'm gonna console for Nexus Titanium and router two. In router one, show IP interface brief. We can see only one interface, fast ethernet zero, which is connected to Nexus Titanium ethernet two slash one. Let's assign a static IP in router one. Config T interface first Ethernet zero slash zero IP address one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot one subnet mass followed by twenty four bit of mass two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero no shot. And I'm going to save the configuration. WR enter. Let's go to Cisco Nexus Titanium. We can see user access verification. Username admin, password admin. And this all are lowercase. Configure interface Ethernet 2 slash 1. Config T. Interface Ethernet 2 slash 1 IP address 192.168.0.2 Subnet mass followed by 24 bit of mass 255.255.255.255.0 No sharp now I'm going to configure interface level 2 which is connected to router 2 interface ethernet 2 slash 2 IP address 192.168.10.2 subnet mass followed by 24 bit of mass 255.255.255.0 no shard now I'm gonna save this configuration copy running config startup config and then enter we're gonna configure router 2 now config t interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 ip address 192.168 dot 10 dot 1 subnet mass followed by 24 bit of mass 255.255.255.0 no shot and i'm going to save the configuration wr press enter so let's go back to nexus titanium Being 192.168.10.1, we can see we are able to reach. If we check destination router 1, ping 192.168.0.1, this is destination router 1. We can see we are able to reach router 1. If we check the connectivity from router 1 to destination router 2, in router 1, ping 192.168.10.1, we can see we are not able to reach. To get the reachability from router 1 to router 2, we need to configure static route. So now we will be configure static route in router 1 as well as in router 2. So let's start static route configure in router 1. IP route 192.168.10.0. 
and the subject mask followed by 24 bit of mask 255.255.255.0 and the next stop is 192.168.0.2 same static route we need to configure in router 2 so let's go to router 2 in router 2 ip route 192.168.0.0 and the subject mask followed by 24 bit of mask 255.255.255.0 and the next stop is 192.168.10.2 So now show IP route. As we can see, routing table is this subnet. So now let's check ping 192.168.0.1. We can see we are able to reach. Now let's check from router 1 ping 192.168.10.1. We can see we are able to reach. That's how you can upload and set up Nexus Titanium switch in GNS3. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye bye.